every single mistake make me feel like I don't deserve to be here. I started looking at myself through their eyes, kind of made me lose myself. In primary three, I half jokingly asked my mom if she would prefer the boy who got first in class to be her son. She replied very fast, yeah, I would prefer him. From then on, I always felt like I was never good enough and became a huge perfectionist. I grew up being underweight for the most part of my life. I was called batang, which is stick in Malay. I was surrounded by classmates who constantly always said mean things to me. Your hair is too frizzy, your eyes are too big, why are you so dark skinned? And this led to me being very self-conscious and I started hating myself. I was working on a zine about feminism in Singapore and a friend called me a cloud chaser. Throughout primary school and secondary school, I enjoyed playing soccer with the boys a lot. One day, uh, my friend casually said to me, Hey, you damn tomboys, yeah. why can't you just be normal? This poem will not inspire you. This poem will not speak for you. This poem will not speak over you. Maybe what this poem can do is hear you. Your stories of how words pierce and twist, like all the times someone told us that we were not enough. Not smart enough to be our mother's children. Not as worthy, too skinny like a stick. Too dark, too tall, or not skinny enough. Not normal enough. Too much of a tomboy. Too hairy, too loud. Too hungry for fame, for wanting to create change in an uncaring world, as if that was anything to be ashamed of. I had never been to a poetry reading before, and I wasn't really expecting something like this. A poem may not fix years of harm, but what this poem can do is see you, by which I mean I can see you. And I can see that you are so much more than the worst things anyone said about you. Words alone can't save the world, but they can make existence a little gentler. I don't want to have a heavy mind. I want to follow this river of life. I felt like my 14-year-old self was seen for the first time. Words offered me a way to accept myself for who I truly am. I wanna have